let's go shop for some summer books. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Tiff and welcome back to my channel. You already know what today's video is, so I do not need to tell you twice. What is up? We are at Barnes & Noble. We are about to go in. We are gonna be shopping for some summer reads today and I am so excited. So we're gonna do a little bookstore vlog. We are gonna buy a ton of books and give you guys a haul and I'm so excited. So let's go. Oh, and it's Mother's Day, so. Madam President. Uh, where's the baby? The kid has sniffed the poo poo. Did he poo? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? what? Are you ready for the haul? I am so excited. We have six new books to show you guys and talk about. I feel like it has been so long since I was able to just go to Barnes and just go crazy. My husband took me today for Mother's Day because obviously, if you don't know, I am a mother. My baby turned one four days ago. Here are the six books I got and I'm so excited. Let's get into it. First one I got is, duh, The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. I have seen so many people recently posting about this, talking about this. This like just recently came out and I am so excited to read it. I don't even know what this is about guys. I didn't read the synopsis. I haven't really heard anyone explain what it's about. I have just heard that it's so good. So I decided to get it. I love going into books blind. If you are new here, then you wouldn't know that. But if you are not new here, then you know, I love going into books blind so much. I constantly will go to Barnes, pick up a book that I have seen people say is so good, buy it and read it without reading the synopsis or anything. Going into books blind is superior. So I love this cover. The cover is giving very summery vibes. The yellow, the pink, literally so cute. And I'm so excited to read it. Moving on, the next book I got is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert, I think is how you say it. I could be wrong, but I think so. So I saw this book in the buy one, get one 50% off section. And I was like, okay, this cover is cute. Literally giving me like summer camping vibes. And I loved it. This is a YA like fiction. So this book is about Bradley and Celine. Bradley is a star our football player at their high school and him and Celine used to be best friends but he kind of like ditched her to go be with the popular kids how rude literally how rude was that like Bradley are you serious that Celine ends up signing herself up for a two-part survival course in the woods and he just so happens to be there definitely not what she was expecting but kind of got that forced proximity going on has too much time passed or just enough to spark a whole new kind of relationship 
What? Are you kidding? This sounds so good. I am so excited to read it. I feel like this is going to be such like a cute, wholesome, light, quick read. It's like barely over 300 pages. Moving on, also in the buy one, get one 50% off section, I got The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther, I think is how you say it. I have seen endless amounts of people on like BookTok and BookTube and Bookstagram talking about how good this book is. So, you know, I had to get it. Like, you know, I had to cop. This book is about Meredith and she loses her sister Claire 18 months prior but now it's summer and she is determined to rejoin the real world her and her family take a vacation to Martha's Vineyard for the summer for a family wedding and family tradition they have a big game of assassin the week of the wedding festivities Meredith's sister Claire always loved the game and so Meredith is going to play it to honor her sister's legacy and she forms a little truce with one of the cute groomsmen and it sounds so good and I'm so excited to read it. And also, literally look at this cover. All of these covers are just so cute, so bright, summery vibes. I'm literally living for it. And I cannot wait to dive into like a bunch of summery books. Are you kidding? I literally cannot wait. And this just sounds like it is gonna be such a good book. Okay, continuing on, this is the first book I picked up and read the synopsis of when we went in there and I was like, jaw on the floor have to get it this sounds so interesting and it is the nanny by lana ferguson the nanny in itself is like okay obviously she's gonna be a nanny right literally listen to this synopsis listen to this synopsis right now suddenly unemployed and on the brink of eviction casey evans is left with two choices get a new job and fast or fire up her long untouched only fans account huh already off to a good start already off to a good start but the job market is terrible and as for only fans well there are reasons she can't go back just when all hope seems lost an ad for a live-in nanny position appears to be the solution to all her problems it's almost too perfect until she meets her would-be employer aiden reed executive chef and dilf extraordinaire <laughs> is far from the stuffy single dad cassie was imagining he shocks her when he tells her she's the most qualified applicant he's met in weeks and practically begs her to take the job the idea of living under the same roof as aiden feels dangerous but with no other option she decides to stay with him and his adorably tenacious daughter sophie cassie soon discovers that aiden is not a stranger at all but instead someone who is very familiar with her or at least her body. Given that he doesn't remember her, Cassie is faced with an impossible situation. As their relationship heats to temperatures hotter than those reached in any kitchen Aiden has ever worked in, Cassie struggles telling Aiden the truth. And the more terrifying possibility, losing the best chance at happiness she's ever had. What? Tell me that doesn't sound so good. Like so in tune with this day and age with the OnlyFans thing going on. I don't know y'all. I don't know, but this sounds really good. I can't wait to read it. I know this isn't necessarily a summary book, but it sounded too good to not get. Like for real, for real. So I cannot wait to read it. Moving right along, we got From the Jump by Lacey Walden. This cover is so, so cute so cute i literally love all the covers this is like the most summery vibe cover i think we have yet literally how cute is that literally how cute is that i love this book is about a chronic yes woman named liv liv is stretched so thin that she is about to yet again miss another vacation with her college friends but she finally starts saying no and man does it feel good so her and her college friends head off for the summer on a trip to south africa but as she is in south africa with her friends having fun in the sun for the summer this forced proximity makes everything more complicated especially with the emotionally unavailable lucas y'all forced proximity that trope is chef's kiss chef's kiss this literally just sounds so good to me this is the perfect summery vibe book literally all the summer vibes all the summer vibes i cannot wait to read this and again this is the most summery vibe color we have got this whole haul and i'm so excited i've also literally just never heard anyone talking about this which whenever i find a book that i've never seen anyone talk about it intrigues me so much more and the last book and potentially the very best book for me personally and if you know me you'll know immediately from reading the title and if you don't know me i'll explain here is the next book 
The Summer of Christmas by Juliet and Keith Giglio. Okay, if you don't know me, you know Christmas is my favorite holiday. Christmas time is my favorite time of the year. I am like a Christmas, like crazy lady, okay? Christmas is literally my favorite thing. Hallmark Christmas movies are my shit. They are my shit, okay? Oh my God, oh my God, they're literally my shit. So when I saw this, like this, okay, I saw it like this, obviously. When I saw this, I was like, Oh my god, I gotta get it. It was the last one and I had to get it. I love Christmas too much to not get this, especially when it was the last one. So here's what this book is about. Ivy Green receives the opportunity of a lifetime when her screenplay, based on her first love, her high school sweetheart who broke up with her five years ago, just days before Christmas, is chosen to be made into a movie. She can't wait to get on set, but that's not the only reason for the butterflies in her stomach. Turns out the producer wants to film in her hometown. In the middle of summer, the production crew creates a winter wonderland as the locals jump at the choice to join in on the movie magic. Now back home, Ivy is forced to face her ex, Nick Shepard, for the first time since their breakup. But in case it wasn't complicated enough, Nick's budding relationship with the actress cast in Avi's role stirs up old feelings for Nick and Ivy lookalike. With a town full of adoring fans and glamorous movie stars, Ivy tries to push her emotions away and focus on making her movie. But how can she ignore the love story that's playing out right before her eyes? I feel like when I first read the synopsis, that's not what I thought it was about. Um, I think I just got way too excited at the fact that it was a Christmas movie to really pay full attention to the synopsis the first time I read it. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm very excited to read this. I think this is going to be so cute. I just seriously love Christmas, Hallmark Christmas movies, even though this is about a breakup. <laughs> but I am really excited to read it. And also literally this cover, literally this cover is so cute. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm gonna say that a couple more times. I cannot wait. <laughs> that is all the books I got. That was my very first bookstore vlog and I just really hope you guys loved it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because we have a lot of fun over here and we want you to join the fun, duh. But with that being said, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace.